Live from LIU Field in downtown Brooklyn, New York, it's the championship round of the 2016 Northeast Conference Softball Championship Tournament. The two teams left standing, the Robert Morris Colonials and the hosting LIU Brooklyn Blackbirds. Two two pitch lined out towards center field. That's trouble into the gap, and Robert Morris will strike first on Championship Saturday. Strolling into second with a two out double is Haley Stocks, and the clutch hitting continues for the Colonials. We were saying Coulter was going to have to keep up with Sobieski. Now it's the opposite. Yep. Coulter's been superb. Sobieski's got to keep the game right here. Here's a ground ball, diving play made, and getting over to first on the dive and touching the bag with her glove is Gospoderic. A tremendous one, play as no Gospoderic keeps a second run off the board. Quick, thunderous finish to this fourth inning. Gay belt to be followed by Stocks, Gerhardt, LaRusso. This two, th three through six has been the hot spot in the lineup for RMU in this tournament. 2-2 two -two pitch, check swing into fair territory, picked up, and a great play by Zamora to get the out at first. So it's a 1-2-3-6 for Sobies. It's now free base here for Coulter, but that tying run into scoring position, good base running by the pinch runner Proctor. That's why she's out there. 3-0 pitch, swinging, ground ball, into right field for a base hit. Proctor hits third, she's being sent home, the throw up the line, and it's a tie game. Angie Vasquez with the green light on 3-0, just tucks it under the glove of Haley Stocks, and we start again in Brooklyn in game six, all knotted at one. I can't imagine that Roy Cortman would make that type of decision without the utmost confidence. 0-1, laced the other way, running in center field is the new center fielder, and it gets over the head and into left center field. Back-to-back -back doubles, and RMU has the lead again. Ashley Gerhardt putting that one over. Carly Brady's head, two pitches, two doubles, 2-1, two to one, the lead for the Colonials. Blackbirds in their half will have the top of the order due. West, Lopez, and Zamora, who was the hero yesterday. So nothing decided here yet. 1-1 one, one pitch, bounces in the dirt. Good block by Zamora, the runner goes wide! And she's safe. High risk, low reward, and they are very lucky to have that runner safe over at third. Wow, not even close to worth it. They got away with one there. Two zero pitch on the ground, past the second baseman and into center field. That huge insurance run comes in. So it works out for Robert Morris as just about everything has over these last 36 hours. McCartney delivers the them a huge 15, insurance run and they lead it 3-1. to one. Wow. Talk about the change of events and how quickly this can happen. Robert Morris has just <laughs> been banging on the door and banging on the door. You get to see a second look. That pitch was way low. Clausell drawn in there. And that's to try to guard against that run coming home on a ball in the infield. This one hit out the other way. West will make the catch. We're out number two. McCartney stays put. So Stacy Cap quickly Kristen back Prey. in the dugout. Two out now for Kristen Prey. Elsie has thrown three walks, four walks already in an inning and a third. But can these Blackbird bats stay patient enough to let that keep happening? Or can Elsie right the ship? 2-1 pitch, hit on the ground, back to Elsie. Easy outs everywhere, and she'll get it to win the game. Elsie escapes yet again, and we will have a seventh and final game here today. Tying run left at second, winning run left at first, and these Robert Morris Colonials finding new and unusual ways to win ball games. You have to win four in a row if you're in the position they were in. Three down, one to go.